Welcome to the Delta Math Solution tutorial. Here I will be covering identifying the trig ratios timed. This is a timed assignment. What we are going to do here is going to identify the trig ratios. Please make sure you have the core concept up, which are your three basic trig ratios of sine, cosine, and tangent. Remember that sine of the angle is going to be always the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine of that angle is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse and the tangent of that angle is going to be the opposite side divided by its adjacent. So let's start here. So here it asks us for tan B. So we're going to look from the point of view of angle B. Tan is TOA opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is 24, then the adjacent is 45. So it is 24 over 45. We did we got that one correct now we want to do um, tan of b for this one so again it is opposite which is 72 over adjacent so 72 over 30. now we want to look at sine of b sine is opposite over hypotenuse from the point of view of b the opposite is 27 the hypotenuse is 45 so that is 27 over 45. tan of a from A's point of view, we look at its opposite, 48, divided by its adjacent, which is 20. So it's 48 over 20. Tan of B. From B's point of view, tan is opposite, which is 20, divided by its adjacent, 21. So it's 20 over 21. 20 over 21. Sine of B. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so opposite is 42 then the hypotenuse is 58 from the point of view of B. So it's 42 over 58. And other tan of B, opposite, which is 20, over adjacent, which is 15. So 20 over 15. And other cosine of, and other tan of B. So it's opposite, which is 39, over its adjacent, which is 52. Finally, a cosine of B. Cosine is adjacent, so 50 divided by a hypotenuse, which is four, 50. So adjacent, 40 divided by its hypotenuse, which is 50. Cosine of A. From A's point of view, the adjacent is 24 and the hypotenuse is 30. So it's 24 over 30. There you go. That's it. We could do one more of cosine of B. Cosine is adjacent so from the point of view of b the adjacent is 18 the hypotenuse is 30 so 18 over 30. all right i'm going to stop it here all right so there you go you got to use these core concept and remember this the sign of a or sign of b is referring to the angle so that is where you draw the person and you look from that person's point of view all right so there you go that is how you identify your trig ratios